What's good, y'all? <coughs> you know, I was uh, thinking of a whole bunch of ways to uh, start off this video. And, uh, well, my cousin, DJ Rain Wolf, had a message on his Facebook page that I think that was strong, you know. And the message that he sent out was straight from my uncle's mouth because my uncle, the wise man that he is, he always said to put your mind to anything you want to do. But you can't do nothing until you get your mind right. Once you get your mind right, then you get your finances right. Uncle was always big on steps. He was also big on family. And, you know, he's also a very religious man. He always put God first in everything that he does. Not everybody does that, but he does it. So... What you want to do is take care of your family. Make sure your family's tight. Take care of your finances and make sure your finances is tight. He always said to pay yourself first. You know what I'm saying? He always said pay yourself first. You know, you can't. It's like my cut. It's like what my cousin said. You, you can't be no millionaire if your money's not right. Now, you, you can become a millionaire, but like you said, if you're not doing it right, if you're not managing your money right, you can't become no millionaire. See, there's steps to this game. So, listen to what my cousin has to say right quick. And please enjoy the video. Stop asking for shit in 2017 that you know. Let me not say this, you can get whatever you want to put your mind to, but it's not going to happen overnight. Like, it could be somebody that say, I'm going to be the greatest race car driver ever. And you know what I'm saying? And you can be that. But stop saying that shit and you ain't got your license. You can't drive. Like, you can do whatever you want to do, but it's still steps, man. I'm tired of people saying they're going to do something, or they're going to do this, and they're not ready for it. Don't talk about you about to be a millionaire and you don't know how to manage your money. You probably will be a, minute, a millionaire, but learn how to manage that money first. You're going to have to go to steps to get to what you want. I'm tired of people saying they're going to do something and they ain't even putting themselves in line to get that. That's why you ain't going to get it.
Welcome to Illinois, people. It is freaking cold and it's snowing. It's freaking freezing out here. I'm at R.R. Donnelly. About to drop the load. Hopefully I can drop the load. We about to see in a minute. <laughs> well, yes. All I have to do is drop it. Now they got me dropping it over here in door two, so. Let you know it is freezing out here man up here in chicago well not chicago it's outside of chicago made it to the uh, other shipper here in elwood illinois and uh made it here to pick up some salt and or sugar i guess i don't know Check this out, y'all. A poster in my Facebook group posted this post. This is how I'm gonna go into the rest of 2017. Now, every year I always have like a resolution or a goal or something that I set for myself for that, for that year. Sometimes it turns out good, sometimes it didn't. 2016, definitely was a good year for me and i'm going to keep riding the wave off of that 2015 not so great so i was like i said i was in my facebook group and i was you know reading some of the posts and i came across this post that i want to share with you guys hopefully you guys will take it and run with it as well now i got it written down because it's, it was a long post and I, I, you know, I didn't want to forget it. So if I turn away from the camera a few, a few, a little bit to, you know, read it, just follow along with me. Check it out. Breaking news, y'all. That's, that's what's up. That's how he came on. Breaking news. And that, that, this is breaking news, man. This is breaking news. I'm going into 2017 peacefully, which that's you know i'm not going to go in it with a lot of trauma a lot of mayhem i'm going in it peacefully if you owe me money don't worry about it you know what i'm saying because if i had to wait this long for you to pay me back then don't worry about paying me back just don't ask me to do anything else for you if you wrong me it's all good yeah it, it's all good because I'm not going to, you know, like I said, I'm leaving the drama behind. So if you wrong me or mess with me or dog me in any kind of way, you know, F y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm going for it. If you're beefing with me, you win. Now, I, I thought about that statement a little bit. And then I just finally said, yeah, you win. Because, see, I don't have time for that. Only thing that I'm doing right now is worrying about myself and moving on. So you win. That's all right. That's all right. Shit. I don't fuck. I'm winning anyway. I'm winning. I'm winning any motherfucking way. I can't lose. Shit. If we aren't speaking, it's cool. Be safe and I still wish you well. You know, I mean, if we stop speaking in, in, in 2016, 2015, you know, if you just didn't feel like I was, you know, down for you, anything like that, it's cool. If I wronged you, I apologize. I'm sorry. If I, if I done something to you, 
in the past and you think it was and you think it was wrong then i truly apologize from my heart man if you're fake if you're fake and talk about me behind my back laugh out loud it's okay continue to enjoy your gossip hour ha <laughs> ha that's how he said yeah i mean if you're talking about me behind my back go ahead i i don't mind you know it's just uh it's just it's just what you guys do see i'm winning wow that's winning. what i'm doing i'm going to continue to win so the more you guys talk behind my back the more that i'm going to keep winning. winning so i win here and i win there keep doing that, that life is too short for all this extra unnecessary drama which it is i mean dude i'm already 47 i'll be 48 this year man so yeah life is definitely too short to be you know worrying about all this drama and this unnecessary bullshit no one is promised tomorrow and i'm gonna focus on my future just like i just said no one is promised tomorrow i can i can i can die tonight tomorrow or whatever and you know hopefully my family would care about that but 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 I'm going to keep living for the future. So I'm going to keep doing my thing. So this is what I want you guys to do. All right. This is what I want you guys to do. For now on. I got to put on my gloves because it is cold out here. Ooh. Live, laugh, love. Let go and continue pressing forward. You know, just just put a smile on your face every day laugh you know laugh the problems away even even at work even if you got issues at work just laugh it away you know what i'm saying because all it is all it's going to do is just bring stress and drama and you don't want that no more and love yourself love yourself see that's something that I had to that I had to do in 2016. I had to stand back and look at myself in the mirror and tell myself, I love you. You know what I'm saying? Just tell you, just tell yourself that and you you'll feel better every morning. When you wake up and you, you look in the mirror, just look at yourself and say, Hey, I love you. You the man. You go out there and hit that day and hit it running. Take care, bro. Safe travels. <laughs> is that a camera or what? It's a camera. Is it? Yeah. Like a GoPro? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow! I will go into the new year full of possibilities and no negativity, man. No negativity this year. You know what I'm saying? Everything is possible. Everything is positive. You know what I'm saying? Love you guys. Be blessed. I wish you all the best out there. I would like to thank Ricky, Ricky Scott, for uh, for posting that, man, because, I, you know, I, I, I feel the same way, and I wanted to share, I wanted to share that with you guys so that you guys could go into the new year happy, blessed, and peaceful. All right, man, that's it. I'm about to head up to Nashville, Tennessee.